changes as the seasons change um, what my roles are. Mm -hmm. But my roles include social media. So if we need to post something, I make the post, I post it, and I stay up with like all the social media stuff. Um, Depending on the day, if it's like the beginning of the month, I get to help Steve balance the books for the program. Um, If it's a game day, I get everything ready for the players as far as like our program for GPSs, their uniforms, um, if we need things printed off for refs or for our SIDs, um, I deal more with that. And then um, other days I'll go into like the inventory stuff. So for our girls, um, uniforms, training gear, everything like that, I run that. So I make sure they're all kitted out and we have everything we need. Um, So we'll, I'll do that. Um, And then other than that, it's kind of like whatever Steve needs, um, he'll send to me and I just get it done basically. Welcome here on Sandy Bay Media. I'm joined by Sydney over at Concordia University and we're going to have a chat about her role as a graduate assistant and what that actually means. So firstly, welcome Sydney. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. Well, it's good to have you back. And, you know, we spoke last time and we touched on your role, but we're going to do a little bit of a deep dive into what it is so our viewers know what it is because it's a little bit confusing when we hear the word graduate assistant. It's like, are they a player or are they not a player? <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> well, let's get a little bit of background on yourself before we start off. Cool. Um, so right now I'm currently in the last bit of my graduate assistant role um, at Concordia. I've been studying sports management. Um, before this role, I played at the NCAA Division II level. Um, and then before that, I actually played at the NJCAA um, over in Wyoming. So that's kind of like my playing experience up to this role. Brilliant. And what sort of made you wanted to go into the graduate assistant program? Um, So it was actually my senior year when I decided that I wanted to be a graduate assistant. Um, And I didn't want to step away from soccer. It was a really big part of my life as it is to everyone who plays it. And I wasn't ready to step away. Rather, I was ready to like step into the coaching world more um, because I decided that's what profession I wanted to go into. So it was a good... It was a good stepping stone because in NCAA Division Twos, um, they normally look for head coaches who have their masters. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was kind of like another step to get closer to my goal. Fantastic! Just to build and having that time to just build up that experience, and obviously knowing Steve, he's got a wealth of knowledge underneath him. Yeah, exactly. So to get like mentored like more deeply than you are as a player. No, so. Definitely. And let's just get a little bit of an understanding of what the program is and sort of just get an overview of how it runs at Concordia. Okay. Um, So I, the GA ship that I'm in, um, I get my master's paid for. And then I then act as uh, assistant to the soccer program. Um, And I do all the like administration work with Steve, um, our head coach. And then I also go to like all the practices, all the games, um, I get to coach sometimes I get to learn. Um, and then what I get out of that is my tuition. And then they also give me like a stipend. Um, and that's kind of how the program works is they pay for my tuition. I get to be mentored and coach and still get to be around soccer. Uh, that's great to hear that. It just sounds like, um, obviously, you know, as you mentioned, it's your final year, you're getting that internship experience getting a little bit of help with um, just a bit of financial support, but then also getting your tuition covered all in the one go. Yeah. So it's really great. It's great because I will be debt free from my master's, which is amazing. 100%. <laughs> and um, just looking at the program a little bit more, you know, when we were chatting about it a little bit earlier, it looked like it's a bit of a GM role, but then there's also coaching involved. And just wanted to look at sort of the administration side of things that you did uh, on a day-to-day basis for you. Okay. Um, So obviously changes as the seasons change um, what my roles are, but Mm -hmm. my 
roles include social media. So if we need to post something, I make the post, I post it and I stay up with like all the social media stuff. Um, depending on the day, if it's like the beginning of the month, I get to help Steve balance the books for the program. Um, if it's a game day, I get everything ready for the players as far as like our program for GPSs, their uniforms, um, if we need things printed off for refs or for our SIDs, um, I deal more with that. And then um, other days I'll go into like the inventory stuff. So for our girls, um, uniforms, training gear, everything like that, I run that. So I make sure they're all kitted out and we have everything we need. Um, so we'll, I'll do that. Um, and then other than that, it's kind of like whatever Steve needs, um, he'll send to me and I just get it done basically. Oh, excellent. And it just sounds like it's preparing you, you know, as you said, you want, you want to pursue coaching in the future. And this looks like it's preparing you both from an administrative point of view, but also a coaching side as well. Yeah, absolutely. I, and it depends on like what head coach you go to. Um, I've had friends to go to head coaches um, and their experience is different than mine, but um, in my role right now, like I've been able to learn from Steve on so many different levels on how he coaches, on how he runs his successful program, on how um, he interacts with his girls and the recruiting side of it. So I've been able to learn a lot from that for sure. No, that's excellent to hear that. And obviously, you know, uh, as you mentioned, you know, that's the aim of the program is to help um, inspiring those people, sorry, people who want to enter the sports field had gained all those life experiences, but also the industry experiences as well. Yeah, for sure. So. Okay. And just looking at the coaching side of things, as you mentioned, you know, have you had an opportunity to coach and get involved in that aspect? Yeah. Yep. Um, with COVID, it was great for me because we had to go into um, group settings and we only had like three coaches, four coaches for, so our goalkeepers had a coach and then we needed three other coaches because only like, I think it was eight girls could be in a group at a time. Yeah. And so I really got to coach probably more than what I would have if it wasn't a COVID season, um, which is really good. And then just recently our coach our goalkeeper coach has had a baby and stuff so Mm -hmm. um I've been able to help with the keepers a lot which has grown in my own coaching ability because I'm not a keeper and so being able to like actually train and interact with them has like been a great opportunity for me no, no, that's excellent to hear that. I mean, obviously, it's one of those roles that a lot of coaches overlook. So if you've got that experience underneath your belt, it makes a lot of difference. Yeah. <laughs> so. And looking at the coaching side, so obviously, I'm assuming you'd also get involved in the tactical side and just sort of helping the coaching department there as well. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, I get to work so closely with Steve and mm-hmm. stuff. Um And I've learned a lot from like how he likes like the tactical tactical and how he likes his program ran and stuff like that, which has been great. Um, And he's given me opportunities to grow in the tactical side um, by bouncing my ideas off of him and stuff. So. Now that's excellent preparation. You know, as you said, you wanted to head into coaching in the future, just to have that outlet to expect, um, express your thoughts and, but also get immediate feedback right about now that would be, um, quite vul- valuable experience down the line. Yep. Yeah. It's great. And just having, and I think one more thing I wanted to look at was just being a player, sorry, being a player very sh- shortly, not that long ago. And now being a coach that must make the interaction a little bit easier, but also knowing what the players are going through. Yeah. It, um, it's a little different because stepping away from like my own playing experience, like yeah. I had friends on my team and I was able to like be that person and then stepping into a coaching role. It's a little different, but I still know like what they're going through, like what um, struggles they might have. And then I feel like it's also easier for them um, in certain aspects to come to me if they need something. And then 
I can go to Steve. So it's almost like a liaison um, if anyone feels uncomfortable. Yeah, no, and yeah, that's um, perfectly put there. I think that's what I was trying to say. It sort of helps that liaison <laughs> with plays back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And just before we wrap up, obviously you mentioned that you wanted to go into coaching long-term. Yes. Yeah. That's the goal is to continue into coaching um, after my GA ship is over um, and then eventually become a head coach of a program one day is the goal, I would say. Fantastic. And um, obviously before we were speaking, you had a bit of coaching qualifications underneath your belt as well. Um, yeah, so currently I'm getting my U.S. licenses. Um, I'm in the middle of my D course right now. And then um, I'll just continue with that um, throughout the A course is my plan. Um, you have to wait a uh, like, certain amount of time between each um, licenses in the U.S. too. So it's a little <laughs> different than other places. Yeah, so I think I have to wait like a year before I can go and get my C license. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, my goal is to grow as a professional um, as well in that aspect. No, that's excellent to hear that. And obviously, there's only a couple of months left um, before you finish your master's. So, will the will you still stay in the position until the season's finished? Um, yeah. So, I'll stay as a graduate assistant, clear out through the spring season, um, and then I'll also help with whatever Steve needs after the season um, to finish out my G- GA ship. And then we'll see after that where, where I go and where I become the assistant at. Fantastic. Well, look, hopefully, you know, there's an opportunity to just come around the corner for yourself and there'll be something in the uh, works happening as we're speaking. And it'll be exciting to follow that as it goes. Yeah, for sure. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, thank you for joining us and all the best with it. And, Yeah, we'll definitely be keeping tabs. Yeah, thanks for having me.